Welcome back to Joe's Workshop, where we are making a queen size platform bed with the help from Koala Mattresses. Now remember that Koala Mattress is giving $100 off to any Jaws Woodshop viewer that wants to build along by using this coupon code. So make sure you head over to koalamattress.com.au to check it out if you are interested in a new mattress. Okay, so this is the material that we milled up in the last video and this is all the stuff we need for the frame. So we've got the two short pieces and the two long pieces. Now when I milled this up, I left it a little bit long so I could cut it down to final size at a later date. And that's what we're gonna do now. So to cut this down, I'm gonna clamp the two short pieces together and the two long pieces together and we'll cut them both at the same time. And that way it ensures, even if our measurements are slightly off, the pieces are gonna be the exact same length and it'll be easy to get it to be nice and square. So doing this, we're doing it at the miter saw. So there is our four components. So the two long ones we'll call our rails just for argument's sake, and our two short ones we'll call the, I don't know, the head and foot board. So the short ones, say this is the outside of the frame, they just get butted up like that and attached. Now this has to be broken down uh, so we can't glue it together, so you could potentially go straight through there with a couple of screws, just no glue, but something that I think looks a little bit more professional is using essentially the same hardware we used on the base, just the longer version. So this is 125 millimeter long maxi lock. The ones we used on the base were 85 from memory. Uh, so this piece will get mounted on the inside of the rails and this piece gets mounted on the footboard. Um, and just as I have the domino machine, I'm gonna put two dominoes per joint. That way it just helps with alignment, but this is something that you do not need to do at all. These brackets are gonna be way stronger than we, anything we need on this frame. So I'm gonna add dominoes, but it's an optional step. Okay, and just like before with the uh, base, we're just gonna install these brackets for their flush, except this time I'm spacing this, um, this component out with a business card to give them clearance, and hopefully that means that we won't have that weird issue that I had with the base. I'm just using a folded bit of cardboard to act as a spacer. Okay, and I'll just continue that on all four corners. So I've mocked the frame up in position here and that is looking pretty decent. Um, but now we just need a way of actually supporting the frame itself on top of the base and that's where the frame supports come in. So these we just have to cut down to length, which is the exact same uh, width as the frame and they sit over the base like so they will get recessed in so they're flush and then the frame sits on top of them so little notches make sure it gets indexed perfectly every time all right and then to cut the notches I've set the fence so that the edge of the blade here is the same thickness as my rail so I milled mine slightly undersized unfortunately so it's 23 millimeters and then the blade height is roughly five millimeters but this is kind of up to you but five millimeters seems to be a good figure for me so now I'm just going to cut these notches on all these pieces the other thing we have to do is just cut the corners off so they're not uh, 90 degrees of course this isn't entirely necessary but I'm going to about a 30 degree angle here so as the freaking saw stop piece of crap triggered on me um, I am going to finish it off on the miter saw. So this is the other way that you could be doing it. So I've just tilted the blade and I'll be nicking the corners off here. Okay, so that's the idea there. Now what we have to do is cut the receiving rebate, which these will sit into and then that will be flush here now. Um, to do that, I'm gonna make a jig for the router. Cut the uh, rebates or the dados that receive these. I'm using just some long strips of straight wood. So this is just some MDF. And I'll line those up on the line. So I have one piece either side. Then I'll come in with my router, which is set up with a pattern bit with a bottom mount bearing. And that will ride along that and remove the material. Now that's not the piece I'm using. The bit I'm using is already in my router.
So with the supports in place, we're so close to having this actually finished, but we just need to install a little bit of additional support with this center rail. So uh, what we gotta do is find center, mark locations for some uh, rebates, which will house these just like we did in the frame, and then attach it using some uh, homemade brackets. However, you can buy brackets for this. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as the bed construction. Now we have a headboard to go, but that's an optional build. Now I went ahead off camera and just made these little U-shaped blocks. And what they do is they wrap around the middle support, get screwed onto the rails of the end boards, and then that's all there is to it. So they just slot in and uh, Bob's your arm. Okay, so that is the bed side of this build done. So. From here, all you would have to do is cut a plywood sheet down to fit inside of here. Unfortunately, it's a bit too wide for a single sheet, so you would have to rip it and then put your mattresses in and the bed frame construction is done. So you'd go off and finish it and you'd be done with it. Uh, we're going to put a headboard on this. This is an optional step. It's in the plans and uh, all you need is a couple of posts which get attached and to them goes the headboard. So let's do that. Okay, so these are the two components which we cut out using the uh, cut list and we're just going to mark it out. So in the plans there's a template just like there was for the legs and it has all the markings we need. So essentially all it is is a notch, so these can be sitting uh, on the rail and then a slight taper. Okay, so that's all the marking out, so we'll cut this. At the table saw, just like we did all the other uh, notches and dados, and then the taper, we can cut either at the table saw or the band saw. Okay, there they are. Simple as that. Okay, so there you can see the actual idea. So the headboard will get bolted onto the uh, supports here permanently, so they'll be in long slots, so to allow for movement, and these pieces will be bolted onto the rails, so um, when you're transporting this, the headboard comes off, frame comes apart, and everything's pretty much flat pack. Okay, and that is the headboard attached. So obviously what we have to do is round over all these uh, sharp corners, make sure nothing is sharp anymore, and sanding. But that is gonna be part of the next video, which is the third and final, which is the finishing. So that is filling all these voids, making sure that all the joints and stuff are nice and tight, um, elongating these holes, adding roundovers to what needs roundovers and all of that sort of stuff. But we have now finished the construction side of the bed. All that needs to happen is that plywood sheet, which I haven't got in stock right now, and it's done. So. Okay, so that is the bed pretty much com completed. Obviously, the plywood has to go in before a mattress can go there, but construction-wise, as far as joints and all of that, it's finished. Now, remember, if you want to build along, I have got a set of plans available on my website, so you head over to georgewoodshop.com, click on the plans, and you'll find them there. Uh, that has a few PDFs in it with templates and all the measurements you need to know. Huge thanks for, to Koala Mattresses for sponsoring this build. And remember, if you want to get $100 off your Koala Mattress, you can use the coupon code JORDS20, and that will get you $100 off on their website at checkout. Now, if you like what I do here on YouTube and you would like to help support me and keep things moving, you can do that a number of ways. You can do it over my website by either making a one-time donation or uh, buying a set of plans. So there's a donations page and a plans page. Um, that is always greatly appreciated. But the better option in my mind is by becoming a George Woodshop patron. Patrons get early access to old project videos. So for example, if you wanna see the next video in this build, it's a good likelihood it's already up there for the George Woodshop patrons. Um, so essentially what that is, you can choose a dollar amount every month to donate, that comes to me, and in return you get things like early access, uh, exclusive videos every now and again, and things like that. So uh, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash georgewoodshop and check it out and see if it's something that you would like to get behind. Now of course if you've enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all of my weekly woodworking videos. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.